Welcome to this Innova Systems web snippet on the form tool. Now in SolidWorks here I've got uh, a shape which I want to turn into a form tool. Now the form tool is a, a function which enables us to cut through materials with particular predefined shapes. So I've got my shape here and I want to turn this into a form tool. Select the form tool function and then it asks me for a stopping face. So this is the face at which the it stops cutting. So we'll continue to click that one and the face is removed, i.e. what it actually cuts out of our material. So I'll select that bottom face there and then hit the tick. Now SolidWorks goes away, colors in the faces correctly and it also creates an orientation sketch which is how it's going to position it in our sheet metal feature. So I'll save that away and save this into the uh, into the design library which by default exists in program data if you have uh, Windows 7 and put it in the forming tools folder so hit that save there and then save that away and I can close it now I've got a part here if I open the design library go to forming tools and I've got my tool here drag it on we can drop it and then we can position it and we can stick it on the end of the point there hit the tick and what happens is it cuts my shape out which is a uh, really handy really quick way of uh, cutting shapes now if you'll have also been uh, pretty sharp eyed you'll notice I've got another shape here if I drag this in drop it on uh, and we position this you can see that what I've got here is because the uh, form tool automatically places it at the center of our body when I come to position this I'm actually positioning it from outside the uh, the form now unfortunately you can't change the orientation sketch while using the automatic form tool now while this will uh, cut through our plate fine it does make it quite difficult to arrange with other items so what we can do is we can actually create a manual form tool so we can position our own orientation sketch so if I open this uh, this shape up which you can see we've got there delete the form tool feature what I now need to do is make sure that this is going to be set up and colored correctly so the first thing we need to do is find out how this is positioned in relation to the top sketch because obviously if we want it to cut we need to go down so I'm going to change this feature so that it's going down rather than up we then need to color uh, this item so that it will be re recognized correctly uh, for the cutting and stopping faces so first of all color the whole body uh, yellow you'll notice that's the sort of the, the base color if you want stopping faces you then select the stopping face and you color this uh, sort of aquamarine blue cyan uh, and then any cutting faces you want to color red uh, because they're going to be deleted so we choose red there so that set up the colors correctly uh, what we now need to do is set up our own orientation sketch so on the top plane we're going to create a sketch and I want to position this at the center of this end of, uh, of our right angle slot now I can draw uh, any shape but as long as the center of the shape is here then we can uh, we'll know that this is going to be our orientation location so depending on what uh, machinery you're going to reference this to it may want a specific shape but for simplicity I'm just going to draw a circle that is uh, related to the center there and this is going to be my orientation sketch and the center of it is going to be my location point hit exit sketch rename this so that it says orientation sketch and then we're going to save it away. Now I'm just going to do a save as for, for simplicity. We'll save that away, close the file and now if I come back in here we've got shape 2. If I drag this on then when I go to position you'll notice that my uh, location point is listed at the center of my circle which means I can then put it on the end of my line which is a little bit easier to reference. So you've got your two different ways of creating form tools. The automatic way, which is really nice if your location point is at the very center of your sketch, much simpler and quicker. And you've got the manual way where you have to color the faces yourself, make sure you save it into the form tool folder, but you can then create your own orientation sketch so you know your uh, location point is going to be where you want it. Thank you very much for watching.